Well, hi guys. Hope you're having a great morning so far. Really excited to be here with you today and just raring to go. It's been kind of a morning full of messages. And I just am excited because I get to play and create 1111 Magazine today. I've got to finish up the May-June issue. Um, it is due out this week or by Monday. And I have got to finish it up. And I've been so wrapped up with trying to get things together for the Conversations with the Universe book launch, which is available on pre-order right now, so get your copy. I'm so excited about it, and it's gotten such rave reviews from so many amazing authors that I have interviewed myself, and so that really is humbling and has created a huge honor. So definitely take a look at it. As you can see behind me, that's my new issue. Look at that amazing cover. I'm so excited. Got some great people in there. Um, just amazing. Amazing words. I love creating that magazine because it just is what allows me to do what I'm here to do. And I'm here to share other people's voices. And I'm here to celebrate people and honor who they are and what they're doing and, and give them a platform to really share their messages and create it in such a way that it's so beautiful that it supports others that want to tap into it to learn and grow and evolve and I just love creating it. I love playing with color and and piecing it together and reading the words of wisdom and just the whole gamut of it. I absolutely love it and so to do that for so many people since 2008 and to now have them so beautifully honoring me with my book, Conversations with the Universe, that's coming out, it's really quite humbling. It's, um, it just goes to show that when you really put your efforts into something wholeheartedly and commit to it fully and you're doing it from a service-oriented heart, that you have no idea what happens down the road and how it comes back to you and how, how uh, people appreciate it, how they appreciate your integrity or they appreciate the way you do something or the essence that you carry when you do something and I've I've just been receiving such beautiful words from so many people I don't think I really ever contemplated what I was doing or how I was doing it or even looked at it I think sometimes when we're in our lives we are so busy in that life going through the motions that we don't often know how we're impacting others and when I began 1111 Magazine, I was in a tremendous amount of pain, and this was given to me to help me through a very difficult period of my life, and it was also given to me so that others would be able to know how to walk the same journey, so 1111 was a gift to me that I was able to share with others, and, um, and I was so focused on that and focused on my own healing journey and really wanting to clear out my inner landscape that I just really didn't even fathom, you know, that it was actually reaching people and touching people and, and helping them in the ways that it has. And so that, that is amazing. That is amazing that when you just focus on the work and focus on yourself, um, you don't really have to worry about other things happening. And that was a huge thought for me this morning after taking the kids to school. I was driving home and I took a wrong turn and I ended up in front of this place called Grace, and the words were so beautiful, and the building was beautiful, and and I just was kind of in awe. All of a sudden, I had this thought about worry and concern, and and how I've been so much in the moment and so loving, just being present to the moment that I really haven't had a worry or concern in a very long time. And even with this Rebel Road tour that I'm launching, you know, having it be so unknown or or not even fully knowing what the show's going to look like yet. I mean, that thing's three months away, and I should have a show together. I haven't even written the songs. I haven't, you know, there's so much, but there's no worry. There's no concern. And I started thinking about kids and how that's that's how they live. They don't live with worry or concern. They live in the moment, and they're, they're just out there and all over the place and full of their life energy. And that's why they're abundant. They always get whatever they want. They're the best manifestors in the world. And, and they seem to move through life in much easier ways. They bounce back from setbacks because they just stay in the moment. And I thought, what if we each did that? What if we each really stayed so present to the moment or just chose to never have another worry or care in the world? Just truly chose to not worry. And I know that that's kind of hard to think about. I mean, I'm sure that some of you might be thinking, yeah, how am I supposed to not worry about my kids or my parents or my you know, my, my 
finances or this world with everything going on? How do we not worry about that? Well, I really feel like what if all of our worry and concern is what is creating it? What if just our attention on it, the energy put we put into it, the way we see life, what if that is actually creating the field of energy for that to stay in place or even be created? What if we were worry-free and carefree and we were really just driving into, diving into our creative journeys, our, our love, our passion, our happiness, our attitude was just always that? We would create a different world. I truly believe that. And I'm, I want to prove that. I want to, that's part of what the Rebel Road's about. It's about can we really be just worry-free, carefree, in the moment, blissful, like a child, so I'm going to be the rebel child on this Rebel Road Tour. And with that said, um, I'd love for you to visit the Kickstarter page. I, I have set till May 29th at 11, 11 p.m. To, to raise the funds necessary and everything that we need to support. Um, it takes a lot. You know, it's 66 cities. It's 11 months. It's four women, two kids. It's putting on 66 shows and everything entailed in that. And that's going to take a lot more money than even what I'm asking for. So I really would appreciate it if you would just visit the page. Just visit the Kickstarter page. Go to the rebelroad.com website and click on that pop-up banner that shows up. And then go to the Kickstarter page. Watch the video I created because it's hilarious. And read through the page. And if it taps into somewhere inside of you, your heart and soul, then look at the pledges and see what you can do to support us because it really isn't about us. This is about you joining the movement, birthing your creative fire and letting yourself dive into that and collaborating with us. We are wanting to get out in the world to connect with you, to connect with your dream, to figure out how we can all play together and create together. And that's part of the reason I'm going to so many cities. Sure, I'm putting on a show. That's to inspire. That's to say we're all the same and look at the journeys we've had and let's celebrate that. And, and let's connect arms. Let's link arms. Let's link minds, voices. Let's link resources. Let's create a new kind of collaboration on this planet. And let's awaken one another with all of the possibility that we are rather than settling for what we've had. There are too many dreams that are stuck in the gut. And we need to birth them. We need to birth them. And that's what the Rebel Road's about. So I'm going to get to birth in this magazine because it's got to get out by Friday or Monday. So this is where I'll be all day today, just playing with my colors, coloring and piecing together and just doing what I love to do. And that is sharing wisdom in the world. So until tomorrow, I love you. I'm always thrilled to talk to you. It has the Brighton highlight morning meditation of my day actually it is like stopping for a sacred bite of bliss so in love of love and with love i am simran singh and i will see you tomorrow <laughs>